so i have been trying out a new custom rom on my redmi note 6 pro for few days now and today we have lineage os based on android 14 and you will take a deep dive into the rom and we will talk about the strength and the weakness of this rom personally i don't really like lineage os because of few reasons first of all lineage os is not really that great anymore there are other roms those who are doing very great even better than lineage os and also they, they come with a lot of feature which one really needs so lineage os doesn't come with any kind of new UI camera and also doesn't come with a lot of features which most of the roms are offering nowadays so the rom is booted up as you can see first of all we will unlock the device and we will check the android version security patch level and everything then i will go other things so lineage os as you know it's based on android uh, like osp based rom so that's why you will not see any tweak here or there most of the time it's pretty stock so as you can see android 14 like february 5 2024 is security patch level so it's a recent build and this one is the last build of lineage os and this one is an official build but i don't think there will be any changes in official build also it's pretty similar i haven't find any kind of major issue with this rom for a custom rom you will see bugs here and there that's pretty acceptable but no major issues i have found going with the wi-fi and network those things working perfectly fine most of the rom nowadays don't have any issue with this kind of thing like network phone internet and all those things you will not see any kind of issue with with those things and in terms of my users i haven't seen any kind of issue in in battery section we have few things here we can control the battery limit how much battery you want to charge 80 percent 90 percent or anything like that but one thing is missing is that there is no ampere control so if you really want to control ampere it is not possible in lineage us but if you install evolution x rom you will see that they are offering that feature which is pretty good feature actually but anyway the feature is not here the, but the battery backup is pretty good for a custom rom it's good going with the storage as you can see 51 gb is a bible so pretty similar to other roms and sound and vibration all those working perfectly fine no issue going to the display section we have adaptive brightness does work perfectly fine we have dark theme you can on dark theme and we have pure dark theme too and double tap to sleep double tap to work does work perfectly fine double tap to sleep and double tap to work perfectly fine working and there is nothing much going on in the wallpaper and style even in the whole system there is nothing much going on few features which are missing are if you go to gesture section which available in other ROMs if you go to navigation gesture there is no way you can like like uh, reduce the gap between the edge of the chin and other things like that which i have reviewed already so you cannot like uh, reduce this the area chin area maybe you can do that with build property but it is not in build feature here right now evolution x does offer that feature but this one doesn't going to the button section there are few things you can do rather than that you can take partial or these are all the features which are available in almost most of the roms and there is nothing much going on in the setting so pure osp based rom going with the application part so in the application part you are not seeing a lot of application this rom does come with gf so you no need to flash gf separately and there are few things which are coming with this rom first of all you will see audio effects we do have a camera application here but there is no miui camera in this rom but gcam go does work perfectly fine here the camera which is built in as you can see here it does work without any kind of issue i haven't faced any issue with the camera application but if you want proper gcam you can find it you can like there are a lot of gcam available for this device so you can download any of those going with other things the rom is pretty smooth no issue with that and everything works perfectly fine although it is unofficial rom but i haven't seen any kind of issue Maybe you will see a bit of sluggishness here and there, but no major issue have been found in this ROM and pretty good ROM I will say. Other than that, there is nothing much to say about custom ROMs nowadays. There is nothing new. Most of the ROMs doesn't come with a lot of features nowadays. 
and the UI is pretty much similar in each and every ROM and that's all about this ROM if you want to flash this ROM I will put the link in the description below you can download it from there thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time